Colonel West, we're talking about some of the pushback that we've got at the state level and at the people level, which yep. the Constitution allows us. But what happens if we fail? What's the world like without a liberty-loving America? Well, I remember back in 1985, I was a young lieutenant stationed over in Italy, and we were doing training up in West Berlin. And one day, we got the chance to put on our full green uniform, spit shine, jump boots, and our maroon beret, and we went through Checkpoint Charlie. And I was 24 years of age at the time. And when I came out on the other side of Checkpoint Charlie in East Berlin, I saw what the world looks like in darkness and gray. And when you don't have liberty, you don't have freedom, you don't have individual rights. I saw the despondency and depression and dejection on the faces of the people. And I just, I don't want to live like that. And I don't think anyone should want to live like that. But that's what we're facing when you have this centralized control of government. And that is what Marxism, communism, statism, socialism, progressivism is all about, centralized control. You cannot make any decisions for yourself. And that is what we uh, could lose. This grand experiment in individual self-governance could be lost for future generations and the light thereof. America is a, is a lighthouse that is shining there for the, the ships that are in distress. That's why people come to these shores. We want them to come legally sure. and not illegally. But if that light goes out, then the whole world goes into a dark age. You know, I, I saw a study of the economic growth. We're in the economic world and we think mm -hmm. economics all the time. Economic growth from the time of Christ until 1820 when America was established enough as a country to make an impact mm -hmm. on the world. It was, it was less than one-tenth of one percent average annual growth. Poverty was rampant. Nobody's getting out of poverty. The elites live pretty well but the rest of the world is growing at one-tenth of one percent. Now, the frightening, two frightening things from that. In 1820, all of a sudden, economic growth took off, and it really took off when that wall fell yep. in Berlin, and, and uh, the Iron Curtain fell, and people started to, to enjoy free market economics, individual liberty, and so forth. But two frightening things. One is, what you just described was, would be a return to that, which is abject poverty. And the second thing is the Davos crowd seems to want that. They've said publicly, yeah. we want to reduce growth. Well, of course, and now they are giving our taxpayer money to uh, nations in Africa to tell them, don't get on oil and gas. We want you to focus on, you know, renewables, you know, wind and solar. Well, guess what? Natural gas, and things, this has helped to propel them out of where they were. And all you have to do is look and see what happened with Sri Lanka when they adopted a lot of those green policies, the ESG and everything, and their economy collapsed. And you saw the people rise up and, you know, go after the presidential, you know, palace. So people understand what liberty is and people understand that they want to be able to provide for themselves and they want a comfortable standard of living. Sure. I think of Africa, I think you remove oil and gas and you have no roads. No. Right, you can't produce a road. Take your, all right, your, your oil and gas powered vehicle, your, your Jeep might go without a road pretty well, but take your average Prius and try and drive that when it's there's no happening. pavement. No, you're not getting anywhere. No. And, and, and you're gonna get to a new charging station, where are you gonna find the charging station? Yeah. But that's what they want. That's why I'm telling you they want to restrict your freedom of mobility. That really is the essence of being a free person in that I can get in my vehicle and say to the family, hey, let's go for a ride. Let's go out to West Texas to the Guadalupe Mountains. But if they control the means of transportation, you're not going to be able to do that. And so they want to push people into these urban population centers where you see the greatest amount of their failure uh, because that gives them the ability to control you.